Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. The Camp Nou once again decorated in the colours of Barcelona. This is what greets the players every time. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here.
so we're up and running. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Paolo Dybala. His game's all about control and subtlety rather than power and strength. But that doesn't make it any less effective. He can go past defenders with a couple of silky skills, create shooting opportunities for himself, or open things up for a few teammates. He's also a huge, huge threat from set place. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. De Ligt drives it forward. And it's Dembele. That's Dembele. Going through. He's one on one, surely! And here's Dembele, Messi, and he's so... And Messi! Goal! Barcelona! The breakthrough strike! The time and space of plenty, he was never going to miss. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from the answer Juventus trail at this early stage. How will they respond? Bentancur. Dybala. He's left his man. Oh, that's a fine challenge. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Dembele puts his foot on the gas. Gets the better of his man. Chance! That's a good ball to find him. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Dembele! Who's ball? Who's going to get there? That's clear cut, that's a free kick. And it's Morata, loses his balance and loses the ball. Morata really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity. Juventus have a free kick. Dembele, who does have an assist to his name. He's through, now is he in? Just the keeper to be, big chance! No mistake! Two up now, and they are cruising. And that really is so, so impressive. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did pull that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Barcelona take a two-goal lead. Things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1 0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And that's a foul, three kicks been given. He knew what was coming, that's a yellow card. Well, what goes through a player's head at times like that is a mystery to me. of the first half. 
what's the first half compared with your expectation? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Barcelona go in at half time on a comfortable two goal cushion. Gets things going for the second half. Look, before they might get too carried away with thoughts of getting back into the game, they can't... Oh, the question, that's a foul. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that's put paid to a promising move. That's beautiful, intricate passing. They are toying with their opponents. Well, they know that their version of what they do is extremely good. I mean, it's a level of possession that leaves the opposition chasing shadows. Chiesa with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. And he has shown him a yellow card. Straight at the wall. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Finds himself eased off the ball. It's got through to him. Dashing. He's through and all alone. Has a hit. Oh, taken with style. That really is quite fabulous, all his own doing. That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footage, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. This is threatening to become a really good game. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum, man. Eh? Shakes the shoot. Well, to put it this way, he's probably made better decisions. Bentancur. Morata. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. And that's sprayed out wide. Morata. He could be in here. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Juventus are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Keeper's got good distance on that. Bentancur looking as though he's being given special treatment here. Treatment he could well do without. Chance! Juventus are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Hoists it forward. De Ligt does well there. Alert. And here's Morata. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. This is good, that's a foul. And he is going into that little black book. <laughs> and 
it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, he's one on one! Has a pop! And in it goes! We thought it was over! It's all square once more! The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. So all square. So nothing between them in 90 minutes, and we are in for extra time. Well, I don't think either manager can have any complaints, really, because nobody quite pushed for the winning goal, and it always lacked that spark. So a brief breather, and then extra time. No winner in 90, 30 more to come. Juventus displayed great character to force extra time from what looked a pretty ominous situation. The question now is, can they go on to win it? It is doable. That's Sandro. Chiesa goes back to base. Chiellini. Alexandro. Rabio, Bentancur. He's in! That's a bad place to challenge. What's he giving? And the referees decided that he was fouled outside the box, and it is just a free kick. So the last big chance, perhaps, before half-time. Looks to me as though this is probably a little too far out for a shot. Cristiano Ronaldo! Decent hit from there. Jordi Alba. We've reached the midway point in extra time. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not only less competitive. So the last chance to find a winner. This really has been thrilling. Both sides going at it. And now for the final act. Cristiano Ronaldo. He's had that put on a plate. And they've been caught out here. Cristiano Ronaldo. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Well, both sides might have to lift. He seems a free kick for that. And it's Griezmann. I'm more than happy to take the muscular approach. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one. Still inseparable. We have penalties. Ah, it's a big well done to both defences for refusing to buckle under the pressure. Fatigue with focus is, is not the norm. So after two long hours, it comes down to nerve, to technique under pressure, to penalties. Right on the edge. Feel the moment. Dembele shoulders the responsibility of the first kick. And the keeper's come up trumps. Oh, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and make such a great save.
Ronaldo focusing on where he puts it. Oh, what a save! That's a lovely stop from the keeper. He's done his teammates proud with that one. Griezmann will take their second. No, oh, he's fluffed it. Oh, that's so unlucky to hit the goal frame. Morata is the second man to step up for his team. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. From one behind. Yeah, made his mind up very quickly and just didn't waver. Chiesa is the third man to step forward. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. Barcelona looking to draw level. It's in, too smart for the keeper. How confident was that? Backed himself all the way. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. Saved! Keeper's done brilliantly. I think the keeper's done really well to save that. He deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. That's how it's done. He made the keeper commit. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper, and he guessed wrong. Juventus have to score, or they have had it. Oh, nerveless. Three each. And now we're into the realms of sudden death. Keeper's gone the wrong way. Good penalty. Completely wrong-footed, the keeper. Juventus at the point of no return. It's there, and the fight goes on. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. So is this to be lucky seven? We shall see. Great stop. Keeper's denied him. Oh, that's a super save from the keeper. Alexandro needs this to win it. Oh, brilliant. He had to save it, and he did. And incredibly, we're up to eight. Oh, he saved it. He was so focused there. Fantastic save. Quadrado steps up, this to seal it. Oh, he saved it! Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. Almost the full team now, here is their ninth man. Oh, good take, keeper committed himself. Looks like he's done it a thousand times, never looked like missing. After a grueling game that went all the way, the winner is decided on penalties. It is a horrible way to lose, and they are heartbroken. Oh, commiserations, the definition of, of penalty heartbreak, and part of the game that we find irresistible, total emotional despair for them. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me, and to wish you all a very good evening.